know, there's such affection for these characters, and it all begins with you guys. And so I want to take a moment to illustrate how special you guys are, and I was hoping you could go back in time. I'm going to start with you, Robert. Look to your left, and I want you to, I'm going to, we're going to go down the row, and I want you to try to recall your first impression of the actors to your left. So you're going to start first, you. First impression. First impression, Sarah. if you can recall. Start with that. You get to look at Sarah. <laughs> your first. Sarah. First impression. This is, the, this is the easiest job in the world. Um, I, just remember, I just remember thinking this is one of the greatest actors I've ever worked with, Sarah, and, and to watch her in these scenes. Uh, she has this great ability to not look you in the eye until you really need to be looked in the eye. And then, because a lot of TV That's actors just go, you, actually. I'm just like, yeah. And then to realize, like this time around, to realize that I'm going to be acting with her in some really juicy scenes are pretty amazing. Uh, Dominic, Dominic just loved to pick on me uh, at the beginning. I used to come home and, and I'd be all bruised up and I'd say, well, that's just par for the course. Teabag got thrown on the hood of a car and uh, <laughs> but we got through. And my, one of my favorite moments with Wetworth was towards the end of the, it wasn't the first impression, although I have to say the first impression was he took really good care of me and he included me in the company because I wasn't in the pilot, I was in the next episode. And towards the end of the uh, summer in the first season we were having back in the days when most of us smoked we stood against the wall we were having a cigarette and I turned to Wentworth and I said this is pretty good isn't it life is pretty good it finally got cool at the end of the day when we were leaning up against the wall in the evening and those are great great memories that will never go away so are you go now impressions of these guys first impression first imp you know I don't <laughs> It was a long time ago. Um, I mean, we were babies. I remember uh, I came to set to watch them film before I started, and it was Chicago, and it was Joliet. It was snowing like crazy and super cold, and Wentworth and I went for dinner, try and get to know each other a bit, and we were walking back um, through Joliet, and there was a, an empty building that had been used as a campaign headquarters and it was littered with these signs for some candidate named Barack Obama who was running for the, <laughs> the Senate in Chicago. We turned to each other and we're like, wow, with a name like that, that guy will never get anywhere. Like, it was just <laughs> one of those like, super idiotic conversations that four years later made us both into idiots. Um, I think you, I think Dom might have growled at me, but you were really nice later. Like, it was <laughs> like a first impression, which is like, hey, I'm Sarah. And I'm, uh, um, <laughs> I don't, uh, Robert and I didn't work together in the first season, and so most of my first impressions with you were watching your work as the episodes came out, and I was just floored. I was just floored by what you did. I thought it was really brave. Dominic, how about you? First impressions of Rob were um, unique, really odd. Um, <laughs> uh, I think he was one of the first actors that I kind of really worked with that... Um, was really into the method, you know. Um, he, I, I was impressed by his commitment to um, to his craft. Uh, Sarah it was, uh, man, this woman's tough as shit. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let you know who's straight. Um, and Wentworth, um, yeah, very private, um, very uh, just a gentleman, someone that I had never. I mean, I grew up in a very kind of rough area in Australia. My friends were all going, law and he was a guy that was the complete opposite of all of those, and he was just very polite, very gentle, uh, very sincere. Um, and the most beautiful looking man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I was like, hang on, I thought I was the stud on this show. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not gonna happen. Go Wentworth. Uh, I think my first impression was, uh, of, of Robert was um, one of uh, awe and appreciation. Um, from the very first scene we had together, I was impressed with this man's boldness and his choices. And I thought, this is good news, because a show like Prison Break lives and dies by the quality of its villains. And um, the man had quality in spades. Uh, Sarah, 
I think our first scene together was probably in the infirmary. I don't really recall. It was a long time ago. But um, I remember appreciating very much the quality of her work and also the fact that for a moment I wasn't working with dudes. <laughs> it's such a testosterone-fueled show. So to have those scenes be what they were, it was uh, a change of pace and, and a respite and a refuge sometimes. And Dominic I met at, uh, I think it was a chemistry test at Fox, and I thought, well, we both have shaved heads, so <laughs> I could sell that brother thing. <laughs> um, I knew we were in. What are your, the plans for your body? Will we see the same tattoos? That uh, Michael has a fresh set of tattoos, and they are central to the plot, but they don't work quite the same way they did the first time around. Oh. My question is, um, what brought up the revival of Prison Break? Um, the reason I ask is because at the end of the last season, the characters' fates had concluded. Um, you were dead, and you know we've Sarah all been dead, had... sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, what what brought you guys together again for such an amazing revival <clears throat> show? Um, I was working uh, Wentworth uh, wanted someone to work with him on The Flash. And uh, he basically, he got, my, he got my job on The Flash. The, the producers were looking for someone that was a hothead, who was aggressive, who was an uh, unpredictable type and a uh, force of nature, I think they said, right? And uh, went with said, well, there's only one guy for that, and that's dumb. So uh, that's how that happened. And we, <laughs> we got on set, and it was just like we hadn't been apart for all these years, and we started talking about Prison Break, and we started, you know, warming to the idea of why don't we just revisit it, maybe. And we went to the producers, I think it was Dawn, and she said yes. And uh, the process is very quick after that. And you know, I, I will say, if, if it wasn't, the green light essentially came from Wentworth. Next question. Hi, this is for Michael. This is Kate from San Diego. Um, I was hoping to see or to know how long did it take um, for them to put all those tattoos on your back? In the original series. In the original series, I had a, a full body tattoo, front, back, arms. It took about two hours to apply, an hour to take off, but it was only once an episode. This time around, um, there were fewer tattoos. It only took a half hour, but it was every day. Next question. Hi, my name is Jillian, and I'm from Texas. My question is, after working together for so many years, what are the craziest memories you have from being on set? All awesome. Can I, can I say can't something? Can't say that. Can't say that. Uh, <laughs> can, I, can I answer that in a sort of a roundabout way? One of, the, one of the coolest things about seeing these guys this time around was it was there was I never felt there was a moment of going hey how are you how you been all these years it wasn't nostalgia it was a bunch of actors telling a story right now and how the hell are we gonna do it to keep it fresh and that was so exciting at the same time what was also great is any actor you work with in this business that's a star or famous before Prison Break I'd go I don't know how to relate to those people it's pretty great that they're you know known. This bonded all of us in a similar kind of experience, which was kind of amazing to look at each other and go, is it the same for you, man? Can you go anywhere in the world without knowing who you are? And we'd all say, nope. <laughs> Everybody knows this. And that's a beautiful little safety net for all of us to go, yeah, I hear you, man. I'm, it's the same way. It's a beautiful thing, and it's also a curse, because we gave up our anonymity by playing these characters. So when I remember we had a scene in the infirmary. I know that's going to really narrow it down. Um, <laughs> you'd been burned, and you were face down, and you were waking up and looking at me. And I remember I had to say, my line was, I had to perform a procedure. To this day, I can't say it without laughing. I don't know why. Um, we'd been in that infirmary for a long time, and there are cameras on my face, and Wentworth's back of his head is to the camera. And he would just kind of go, and like open one eye and try and watch me say it. I mean, it was probably 25 takes before I got it right. 
<laughs> um, that was, yeah, I don't, for some reason that's a moment that sticks with me. Wentworth just watching me try and not make an ass of myself. Uh, you know, Robert's point that he just made, it, it's a, a good place to jump off. How, can you talk about um, the delicacy of tackling this? I mean, it is called prison break, so you have to obviously incorporate that. But, I mean, at what point does he become rehabilitated? I mean, what, what was the, talk about the challenges of figuring out the next chapter, writing this next chapter. That was directed to me. Yeah. Okay. Um, I had a great conversation with Paul Shearing in early January, and the, my knee-jerk reaction to the idea of this coming back, which was, you know, had begun from these two down here, was, please, God, make it different. Please don't just give the audience what we've seen before. And these actors and these characters have changed over six years, and I got a promise from all of them that that was indeed going to be the case, that this was going to give, we were going to give you what you loved and knew from before, but we were going to go in a much deeper place, uh, more mature, more brazen, and simpler, I think. And for Teddy, I think the, the catharsis and the epiphanies that he's gone through in the last six years in prison that I've gone through in my own personal life were pretty extraordinary, and to be able to incorporate them was necessary. When, when you guys went back to the network, I mean, you knew part of this is that you'd have to figure out a way to get him back in the pokey, right? I mean, that was part of the pitch. Uh, that wasn't my idea, no. Um, I figured that we would have to be true to the show's DNA, but uh, once Paul Schering signed on to uh, spearhead these nine episodes, I thought, well, great, because he got the whole thing started, and he has a very um, contemporary, topical, edgy point of view, and I wanted the show to be both this is what you've loved all along, but also something radical and different and new. And it is those things. All right, next question. Hi there, Justin Morales. Um, my question is for the Schofield brothers. As you guys just mentioned, you guys were on The Flash together. So why can't, do we, can we expect any characteristics uh, from Captain Cold and Heat Wave on Prince Break? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a musical, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, can, I think we're moving on. Next question. Hello, uh, my name is Robin. I'm from San Jose, and I love Prison Break. I still do, but when it was on before, I'm so excited for the new season. And my question is for all the actors. Um, you guys have done a lot of great work since the last iteration of Prison Break. And my question is, how do you think your Prison Break characters would fare on other TV shows you've been on since? Well, I'm kind of playing one at the moment. Um, Mick Rory is kind of similar to, there are similarities with uh, Mick and Lincoln. Uh, I think uh, Mick's just funnier. Um, it'd be interesting to see both of them go head to head in a fight. I don't know who'd win. but. Um, yeah. Wentworth or Sarah? No, please. Oh, sure. Uh, I think it would be neat to see Michael Schofield on The Flash or Legends of Tomorrow. Um, he has, uh, has always had a, uh, a comic book facet, uh, a superhero facet. He can endure what the next person cannot. Um, I don't think he and Snart would get along necessarily because Snart doesn't get along. <laughs> Um, it's an interesting idea. I feel like Sarah Tancredi in the zombie apocalypse might not last particularly long. I'm not sure. <laughs> she, she don't think that's like really her wheelhouse. Um, I think she'd do pretty well on Colony. I think she'd probably join the resistance and she and Katie would burn down the block. <laughs> <laughs> I am very happy to report that Teabag will only be on Prison Break and no other show, <laughs> so I never have to worry. All right, next question. This is a question for Wentworth. Um, do you like acting on The Flash more or The Prison Break more? No, oh, that's an excellent question. Excellent question. Uh, 
I have a lot of love and appreciation for Michael Schofield on Prison Break, but uh, Captain Cold is probably my favorite character to play. Wow. Um, he's, just, he's just a good time. He gets to come in, do his thing, and then, and then scram. <laughs> Next question. My question is for Robert, who plays Teabag. Your character was very complex. You know, he had the good side and the serial killer side. <laughs> I'm wondering, in the new season, will we see any of that serial killer side? <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to. I don't want to give it away too much. But I, I do want to say that you will see some changes in the character, and you're going to see this guy struggling to not be that old guy that he was before. Um, this thing that I did before, <laughs> you know, you, you won't, you, you'll see him resisting that <laughs> a lot. 